Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all my peeps and my peoples. May all your dreams come true and may blessings be blessed upon you and your family. Please like the video. Um, what made you stand up and, and push Michael back? I don't tolerate disrespect of women. Chris and I have had that conversation before. Like Ray and I have had that conversation before. Uh, Michael has a history of disrespecting women on this platform, and I'm not going to let any man disrespect my wife, ever. What's that just, I just won't happen. It just won't happen. A lot of women on this show have said derogatory things about my husband. Because so your I, husband is a creep, he, listen, and he's listen, disgusting. Listen, let, let her, Simmer let down. I'm not speaking to you let, at this moment. Right. So there have been a lot of things said about my husband, and he has defended himself, and some people perceive that to be disrespectful, but yet it's okay to drag his name through the mud. So he drags his own. That's not okay. And um, then you, you also, my wife and you have gone back and forth for many years. I've never gotten involved in that relationship with you two, wherever it's gone. If I had an issue with Michael, much like I would have done with Chris, I would have gone to him at a separate time. Um, what may not at someone else's party, not if I've been drinking, I would have reached out personally to say, hey, this is what's going on. Chris, two years ago, almost beat the out of Michael before the reunion because of the allegations of things that you were saying about Monique being drunk. Point being, you were upset because Michael came at you sideways. He didn't come at you the way that I have come to you and say, respect like a man. I respect Ex that. Exactly. That's my only yeah. issue. Michael doesn't do it in a way that is conducive to having a conversation with people. And I want to say um, thank you, Chris, for calling and apologizing yes. about that night. I really uh -huh. respect that and appreciate that. Oh, nice. um, I did not hear any type of, you know, anything from Michael. Not at someone else's party, not if I've been drinking, I would have reached out personally. Welcome my peeps, my peoples, peep squad is in the building, baby. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's to all my peeps and my peoples. May all your dreams come true. May blessings be blessed upon you and your family. So let's get into it. Let's talk about Real Housewives of Atomic Reunion Part 3. It's going to be 90 minutes and it is going down. Andy really feeling some type of way about Monique Samuels. He wants an apology. He wants Monique Samuels to apologize to Candace Dillard. He wants it all, baby. But also, we need Candace Dillard to listen to her husband, Chris, you know, because he knows what's going on. If she would just only heed her husband's messages, a lot of things would be a lot different and less difficult for Candace Dillard. But it is what it is. She does not listen to her husband, point blank, period. And Chris... You know, he be on point. He be telling the truth. He don't be playing around. And also, Chris Samuels is feeling a certain type of way because he cries with Monique at night. He's at home with Monique. He knows what she's going through. He knows the trials and tribulations of how these ladies have dogged her out and tried to do her. And so, therefore, when he get on a stage with them, he's feeling a certain type of way. And he's trying to express how he feels in a hurt and the pain that he sees his wife going through and that he goes through because she's going through because that's his better half. So let's get into it. Let's listen to Andy go in, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Never apologized to her. No, I didn't. She's crying and had to leave and go gather herself. I literally went from one mental state to the next. I can't listen to it. It's insane gonna bring the husbands out if we don't get the owning up to this it's gonna be some real mess told up on the stage today i was busy watching filthy lies spread it on my wife get the f out of here you ain't talking to my husband that's why you ain't got a man now are you provoking her i am so glad that juan dixon is not here right now you know what Moni? chris chris sit down mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. a lot of shit is gone down we have got to stop tearing each other apart and i don't know what to do Mm-mm-mm. It is going down. Karen Huger got out here and started preaching. She was on her Martin Luther King Jr. situation too as well. And Chris Samuels is not it. taking it. I don't know how to say it. It's, well, Chris is coming. Chris gave me um, something brown. That's the only reason I was able to come back. What was something brown? Something brown. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, okay. So brown oh. liquor. Okay, let's, uh, I like the something brown. Okay. Oh, nice, Chris. Oh, you look good. Thank you, honey. Everybody's in yellow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Need a drink? I brought. Oh, man. 
<laughs> don't tell anybody. Well, what in the world? Hey, look. It's happening. Don't worry what we're doing over here, Giselle. I, I saw what just transpired. And first of all, why didn't you zip up your zipper yourself? Because I wanted to be too close. This is the first one. Live. Excuse me, I've got to sit. Andy, hi. I got hey, Chris. Bassett. Hi, Andy. How are you? Hey, y'all doing? Hey, what's up, Frank? How y'all doing? You look good. You look better. Thank you. How's it going, Andy? Hey, Ray. Great to see you, sir. Good to see you, partner. Has anybody owned no, this plot on my child? Well, actually, you saw it. They're literally acting as if I came up with this word, fun. Robin, did Juan ever play with Jordan? Or is that he really did? Mm -hmm. It's rookie season. So, did you have a picture? Yeah. Robin, did you watch The Last Dance? Of course. Yes. Did you love it? We are a I mean, I know home. it's a year later. Of course you are. I mean, we ate it all up. We had play with Jordan for one season. Yeah. Hi, Chris. How you doing, buddy? Did you watch that 10-part Michael Jordan thing? It was like the greatest thing I've ever seen. Like, it was... I, was, I was too busy watching filthy lies spread it on my wife. Wow. And if we don't get to owning up to this, it's going to be some real mess told up on the stage today. Yes, so they're putting all the dramatic music behind Chris Samuels, basically trying to say that, you know, he's off the chain and blase the third, but he's up there defending his wife, and that is what he's doing. It is what it is. And if he didn't say nothing, everybody would be like, how come you didn't say nothing? How come you didn't defend your wife? Well, he is, and they're trying to make him out to be, you know, not such a nice person. And let's get to Robin. Robin got a whole lot to say, and also... Chris Dillard got something to say about Michael Darby. He's feeling a certain type of way, so let's get into that situation. I was like, mm, mm, mm. I mean, it is going down. Are your embellished sales helping fund the house? They will definitely, yeah. I mean, they weren't necessary for it, but for sure. It, is it I, doing well? Oh, my gosh. They're really so good cute. hats. Are. Why are they so good? Sweet. I gave them they're one. Good they're good line. Yes, they're satin they're line. line. Yes. yes. With satin. Yes. yes. And satin. that is a big deal. Why? Because, because black girls and our edges, we have to be protected. Yes. 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 It protects yes. our hair. Yes. Wow. And so, Fascinating. are you saying that <laughs> most hats <laughs> your hair up? Yes. <laughs> yes. It dries yes. your hair out. But not yes. right. material. Yes. Yeah. But you didn't yeah. think that... Karen was a good spokesmodel for your hats. <laughs> to be honest, well, Karen's pictures, like I, everyone else's pictures are more like fun, having like a cute little pose. Karen, I felt, I honestly felt she didn't even want to be there. Like that was the energy that I got from her from the beginning of that photo shoot. May I? Yes, please. First of all, I wouldn't have taken time out of my day to come and support your business if I didn't want to be there. I'm not a fake and I'm not a phony. None of y'all are on their website now. Y'all know all your pictures have been. They made. are no. Where are they hidden? D? They're they're on the product page. Oh, oh. oh she so moved I them was, to the back. I so my question is, this for a storyline or what? It would have spoiled everything. Okay. My sales have been tremendous. I'm happy. The for response you. I've been overwhelmed with, and I'm really excited about the future of my business. So my picture's gonna be up when you go ahead and put everybody up. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Well, you know what? I, Honestly, I, Karen, that hat. Um, I love that hat, by the way. I that did. hat was my, one of my slowest sellers, so I didn't <laughs> bring it back. <laughs> well, now, well, well, well she, 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 I said I love the hat, but <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute, time out. You, you, hate, you hate my hat. You threw it on the floor. No, no, right? no, no actually, I picked it up. I picked it up. No, but no, I really didn't throw it on the floor. Thank you. Thanks. Mm, mm, mm.